Hello, it is Bonnie Southgate, H-E-D-S Rehab here. And we have another exercise for the day. What we're gonna do is strengthening of the lower legs, which is super important if we wanna keep our ankles and our feet strong. So, heel raises. I don't know anyone who hasn't been to a physiotherapist with feet that roll in that hasn't been probably given some heel raises. And I'm gonna give you two versions because standing up might be too much body weight for your feet and for your lower legs. And what you do is you try to do the exercise and then you're in so much pain after that you don't do them at all. So we're gonna give you different versions of heel lifts. I'm gonna have my chair here. Um, so the first version, which is the easiest version, is just to have your feet in front of you, and we're simply going to lift the heel up there. Having a flexed knee is really nice because you can't hang in the back of your knees and cheat. So one heel up and coming down, and the other heel up and coming down, and just alternating feet and coming down, and the other foot comes up and coming down. That might be enough for you, which is fantastic. Um, and a really good way to start getting those feet working and those lower legs working. And I'm gonna just come off the chair now and we're gonna go to the next level of heel lift exercise. And that's gonna be lying down. I haven't got my mat here, but that's okay, I'm fine. And I'm gonna pop my feet on this balance pad, but it can be on the floor. It's absolutely fine. If you've got a balance pad, it's super nice um, to use it because you get to feel where your feet are on the ground, whether the weights are on the heel or the forefoot. And I'm gonna come into a mini, just taking my bottom off um, the floor. So I'm in a mini bridge, and then I'm gonna do a little heel lift there, alternating feet. Now, what I want you to be very careful of when you do this is that you don't roll your foot out to the side to find the mobility in the ankle. So as I bring my heel lift up, heel up, the weight almost wants to feel like it's through the second toe and bring it down. We don't want it rolling in. We don't want it rolling out. We need that weight right through the second, the base of the second toe as you lift the heel up and down, and up, and down. And you can alternate feet the other way. So you work both the front and the back of the lower leg. And then our final version is going to be just heel lift, standing up. And the, the important thing to think about if you're gonna do heel lift, standing up, is that you don't let your hips hang forward because you won't be using the lower legs doing that, you'll be cheating. And you don't let the, the knees hang out. You're gonna really struggle to do these if you're in the hyperextension of the knee is the no-no. So you have to make sure you're better off softening your knees bent than you are letting them hang back and not letting the hips hang. So if I'm here, that's a, not gonna be working my lower legs where I want them at all. So I've gotta bring those hips back and my knees soft, and I'm then going to have to work my feet to lift my heels up and come back down. And I would work with two feet for sure. For most of you, um, you'd have to be super strong to do one leg. I mean, you might want to do that if you're a dancer, but it's probably not necessary. And if we want to make that even more challenging and work you more, then we can put a ball, if I've got one here, in between your ankles. And that's another great way of doing this. Again, watching the feet. So when I lift up, I don't want the ankles out there. I'm in danger of ankle sprain and I'm not strengthening the right bits. I need I can keep that ball in between my ankles as I lift up. And then come back down slowly. So I also want you to go down as slowly as you come up holding on to something, I'm lifting up, I'm not letting those ankles roll out, I'm not letting myself hyperextend, I come down, I need to hold on to something. I've been challenged by self for balance if I'm really strong, but just for now, I'm holding that ball, I'm lifting up, and then I'm slowly coming down, not hanging into those knees, not hanging into those hips, and one more time, lifting up, and slowly coming down, and relaxing. 
And that is your exercise for today for your lower legs. After you do it, if you want to do a little release, then lift the heel and reach and lift and reach and lift and reach. Rather than hanging into a stretch, bring it down, lift it up and reach and up and reach and up and reach. Right. That is your exercise for today. Don't forget to practice it. Put together the exercises you love and the exercises that make you feel great. It's Bonnie Southgate, HDBS Rehab. Subscribe if you like this. Let me know what you think, if it's helpful. And hopefully I'll see you in another video and another exercise for another day. Have a great day.